Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday once again, and let's review another Bath & Body Works candle. <laughs> Up next, we have Strawberry Daiquiri, and I thought this was an appropriate review to upload after Island Margarita, which I reviewed a little bit earlier today. Um, if you missed that video, I will link it in the description box down below. But um, I mentioned in that video that one of my favorite drinks whenever we go to a Mexican restaurant is to just get a plain old, like, regular margarita. Like, I don't need a special flavor. The original lime is it's kind of my thing. Love it. Delicious, right? Well, when Craig and I go to Mexican restaurants together, his favorite drink is a strawberry daiquiri. If it's not a strawberry daiquiri, it's going to be a pina colada. But lately, this man has been sucking down strawberry daiquiris like they're going out of style. And it always cracks me up because he is, Craig is enormous. For those of you that, you know, haven't been on my Instagram or whatever, or have, haven't been on my channel before, my husband is like six foot seven. He's 270 pounds. And um, he, he loves him some girly drinks. And it always cracks me up. <laughs> it just looks weird to me. I feel like he should be like, I don't know, with it, with like a beer stein or something, but yeah, he, he loves him some girly drinks and strawberry daiquiris, I think are one of his favorites. So this one is for my beloved husband, Craig. <laughs> um, I don't know if this particular fragrance is new to Bath and Body Works this spring and summer season. Um, I have to admit, I am not going to be the person that you should come to for like Bath and Body Works historical content. Um, I, in recent years, I have not purchased nearly as much from Bath and Body Works as I used to in the way past. Um, that is due mostly to the fact that I kind of have a lot of beef with the burn quality of a lot of the candles that I've picked up over the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this is new this year but I cannot be 100% on that. If you are, sorry, Alf is, um, he's chasing a toy around the camera right now. Um, if you are someone who is really interested in a lot of like historical Bath and Body Works knowledge, I am going to refer you to Josh or Joshua over at Touch the Fire Twice. Um, I'm sure most of you guys already know who Josh is. He's been around here on YouTube for a really long time reviewing candles. He is someone whose videos I really enjoy watching and I just, I find his voice very soothing and I just find his reviews very um, interesting and detailed and I love when he busts out a lot of like old school Bath and Body Works knowledge. <laughs> Because every time he does, I'm like, oh yeah, like it totally jogs my memory. Even though I can't retain this stuff, somehow this man does and God bless him for it because he's really, really good at that. So if you're not subscribed to Josh, definitely go check him out. He's just a, just a great person in general. Plus his videos are really enjoyable to watch. So go check him out. He'll probably be able to tell you whether strawberry daiquiri is new this year or not. I don't know that that information matters to a lot of people. I kind of like having that base knowledge um, when, you know, looking at candles just to see, like, you know, obviously this was successful in the past or this is something new that they're trying. So I kind of rely on him for that at this point. So um, anyway, strawberry daiquiri. Uh, let's go through the scent notes and then we'll talk about the burn, which I am happy to report has been quite good for a Bath & Body Works candle. If you are new here, um, I've pulled back from Bath & Body Works quite a bit over recent years just because I found the candles to have a lot of wick issues and more so than anything, a lot of like burn issues in terms of sooting. Um, we repainted this entire house when we first moved into it. And I, if, if you burn candles, you know, no matter what, you're going to get a certain amount of soot accumulation, but I really like to moderate that as much as possible. And if a candle is just going to be a smoky mess, I, I can't burn that in here. Not for the amount of money that I shelled out to have someone come and paint this joint. Not redoing that again anytime soon. So, um, Usually when my Bath & Body Works candles futz out on me, I put them in a candle crock or underneath a lamp and that is the way that I solve that problem. I am not one to return Bath & Body Works candles anymore. 
It's just a huge hassle. And quite frankly, most of them do really well in my candle crocs or underneath the lamps. If you don't know what a candle croc or a candle lamp is, if you're kind of new to this home fragrance world, I will link my candle croc and candle lamp 101 videos in the description box down below and link some great options for you as well. So, um, okay, but this one's, this one's doing good. I think I can burn her to the end. I am hopeful. Um, your notes here are frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, a shot of tropical rum, and a zesty citrus twist. Okay, so this really does smell quite a bit like a strawberry daiquiri. Um, I don't know that I really get like frozen strawberries. Um, we get frozen strawberries quite a bit because Stella likes to have fruit smoothies and so I've definitely smelled frozen strawberries. This just kind of smells like a slightly, it's not a super authentic strawberry note that's in here. Um, it's more of like a candied strawberry, more along the lines of maybe like a Jolly Rancher type strawberry fragrance. But it's nice. I think it's I think it's a pleasant strawberry to my nose. Um, I am happy to report that I don't smell any of those rum tropical rum notes in here. I don't love when candles have a boozy note to them. Harry Slatkin is kind of famous for adding those boozy notes in with a lot of his, especially I feel like summer or holiday candles. I don't get that from this at all. So if that scares you off, I, I can't smell it at all. Um, and as far as that citrus twist, there is definitely a really fresh, clean, like lemon note in this to me. I think that strawberry and lemon make a great combination together. Um, and this does have some sweetness to it. It's not cloying. Um, that simple syrup note is just some, some sweetness that runs throughout this. It really kind of smells to me somewhat similar to Scentsy Sugared Strawberry. Not exactly, but I feel like if you like sugared strawberry from Scentsy, you're probably going to like this strawberry daiquiri scent. Again, for me, I don't pick up the rum note at all. So um, if that's something that you are looking for, I don't know, maybe maybe I just don't have the receptors in my nose for it, but I, I don't smell it. I have, I have smelled that boozy note in Harry's candles, so I feel like I can smell that. I just don't pick it up in this one at all. This is basically a really nice, summery, tart, but sweet strawberry. Um, it's really enjoyable, and you know what? It's burning quite well. It does have the... Um, the wicks are not the super thick wicks that Bath & Body Works has that basically are the bane of my existence. They're a little thinner than that, um, but they've been doing quite well. Now, I have been trimming the wicks, not super short, but I definitely trim them between each burn, and I think that that might be what is helping this burn a little bit more cleanly. I've also very gently been wiping off a little bit of that carbon residue off the wicks with a piece of paper towel as well. You do have to be careful because the Bath & Body Works wicks can get a little bit brittle and they can break off, but I just very lightly take some of that carbon residue off and I find that that has definitely given me a cleaner burn, much cleaner than my Island Margarita. So, um, I don't know. I've, I started doing that with my Kringle Country Candles because for some reason those uh, do produce some soot. I think it's a combination of the paraffin as well as just, you know, a lot of different factors. But um, yeah, it, it just gives me a cleaner burn. So worth trying, but do be careful not to snap those wicks completely off. Um, the strength and the throw of this are quite good. I mean, I would put the strength at about like a six and a half, seven. And the throw is, uh, I, I don't know, I'd probably put it around a six and a half, seven as well. It certainly fills a good chunk of the downstairs of the house when I have this one going. It smells really good when I'm burning it with the Island Margarita. I would say if you have both of those, try burning them together on opposite ends of the house. I think they make a really great like summery combination. Um, 
And I definitely want more to be able to like carry that particular combination throughout the course of the summer. I don't really feel like we're getting very much summery weather yet here in Oregon, but it's coming. <laughs> I know soon enough it's gonna be like 95 degrees every single day, so yeah. I think that this is just a great summertime fragrance and really worth checking out. It is still available online, I believe, and um, when I, sorry about that ding, when I was in my local Bath & Body Works store like a couple weeks ago, I did see more of this one. So I think it's still pretty readily available, at least in store. And yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to give it two thumbs up, which is rare for me in terms of Bath & Body Works candles. Um, I maybe wish it was just a tiny bit stronger and had maybe a little bit more in terms of throw, but it does quite well for a three wick candle and we do have pretty high ceilings in this house it is a like more open concept type home but um yeah for a three wick it's it's doing pretty good and quite frankly for a bath and body works it's doing pretty good for me so i'm gonna keep burning it i really hope that at the end of may when i do my empties video i'm gonna be able to show you guys a completely finished bath and body works candle instead of one that has had to live the last little bit of its life either in a crock or underneath a lamp. So fingers crossed. Let me know what your experience was with a strawberry daiquiri. Make sure that you go check out Josh over at Touch the Fire twice. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, I do think that I'm gonna have time to record one more candle review today. It will be of a country candle. So fingers crossed I can uh, keep my life together <laughs> and be able to get around to that. So. Um, have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Doodaloo.